Okay, Pat from Puck here. It's probably like the sixth or seventh time we're trying this unscripted recording. So this is just a quick recap of what happened in 2023. So we started off with a 1400. We went for tuning, picked up some issues with the pickup. So we ended up getting a lot of noise. So the car couldn't be effectively tuned as such. So while trying to rectify the pickup issues, I ended up killing the pickup. So then I said, well, well, since we're here, we might as well just go with a trigger wheel and pickup sensor. But unfortunately, how it works is, is with the dictator or the engine management I'm using, uh, you can either only go with a distributor setup or with a 60 minus 2 setup, or as we would know, trigger wheel and sensor. So what we're doing here is, is just checking the alignment between the sensor and the pickup wheel. Now this took about four attempts to get sorted. Then I kind of bought another turbo because if we're gonna go with more accurate uh, ignition timing we might as well go with a bigger turbo. picked up some alignment issues on the exhaust manifold which was corrected. First start up after the repairs have been done. And then we just decided to mess around with it. So between the previous video and this one, this was basically exhaust was installed and then just a test on the launch control. And then we get to the meat. So what we have here is a replica Ferrari, which has got an old school V8 with a nice big turbo strap to it. So this one was basically in the works about the same duration as the 1400. It's been converted to fuel injection. This will be charge cooled. Well, it is charge cooled now. And yeah, probably the scariest one that any of us have built. And then the daily was giving issues, so we decided to convert from 1800 carburetor to 1800 fuel injection. So basically, it was head and rewired. Once started, noted a leaky fuel injector, but got that sorted. And yeah, so it was running pretty fine. After that, we just decided to use that as a daily. Still gotta go for a bit of a tune, but it sounds good. And we shot up to Joburg, we went to go and collect the engine for another project. And then on the way back we decided we'll stop at the Rock Raceway's Wicked Wednesdays. Some pretty epic cars that was on showcase there. That Then we had these little gatherings in our town on Thursday nights, so RCRs decided to put on a show, and unfortunately that ended up in a blown head gasket. With that, I'm going to try and do monthly updates of what's going on, but yeah, we'll see you guys around. Enjoy.